Controlling the output with an input in Arduino, it's pretty simple and it's one of the basic things you will do with Arduino. Like this circuit for example that uses this button as an input and this LED as an output and whenever I'll press the button the LED will switch on, leaving it will switch it off and you can also with a few more lines of code just having one press will toggle it on and the next press will toggle it off. So what do we talk about today? Today we'll talk about the limits of circuits like that. There are two main limits for it. One, you can only activate things that are 5 volts or 5 volt tolerance with, an, with a, a resistor here, for example. Trying to activate something that is 3.3, you might actually damage it. The second limitation, which is less known especially for beginners, is that you can only draw 40 milliamps from each of the GPIOs and trying to draw more than that, you can actually damage them. Uh, a LED, for example, would draw anything around 20 milliamps, so even putting two on the same pin, you're already getting it to their max. So, what is the solution? There are a few solutions possible for that, but today I'm gonna concentrate on this one, a transistor. Um, a 2N2222 for, for this example, because this is what I had lying around. And transistors are wonderful. This is an NPN transistor. Um, you can supply power and it allows you to draw current through it. Um, for example, activating a different voltage like 9 volt and 12 volts. So, how is it done? Let's build up the circuit. If you find this video useful, please share and like it and subscribe to my channel. For this example, I took the V in, which is this line and it's on this power rail of the breadboard and you can see it's got 7.77 .77. it's not that stable my power supply is not that great but you can see it's not a 5 volt so now I'm gonna recircuit the things and, and reconnect it and have the LED work through the 7.7 instead of the 5 for the board so I'm gonna set up the wires and I'm gonna show it to you again so how does it work? As you can see, here we have a transistor, the 2N2222. His most left leg is called an emitter. The emitter is connected in our case to the ground. The center leg is called the base. This is where we apply the power to make it allow the current to go through it. It's connected through a 1.5K resistor to the output pin of the Arduino. The most right leg is connected to the leg, it's called the collector. This is where whatever is emitted be collected on the other side. As you can see, the shorter side of the LED, which is the minus, is connected to it because it's the ground, and the, the, the plus is connected to the plus, what I showed you before. There is 7.7 .7 volt, and it works. A few words of advice I do have to offer for this is. Even transistors has their limits when it comes to drawing a current and voltage. So bear in mind when you use something like, for example, this one, the 2N2222 has its, has a 600 milliamp stop of drawing a current. If you try to draw more than that, you might actually damage it. It, it will turn hot for sure and you probably damage it as well. Also, operating things like DC engines and stuff like that, it has a, a flyback current, you might want to use a diode as well, and I will cover it in a different video. I just want to cover the code really fast to show you there was no trickery there. As you can see, I defined an output pin and an input pin 3 and 4. I defined it as an output and an input pull up, and the only thing I do is I write to the output pin the reverse of what I'm reading from the digital read, and the reason for that, of course, it's because it's an input pull up i.e. as long as it's not pressed it's going to be 1 and once it's pressed it's going to be 0 or uh, low and high depends how you look at it. Um, this is all the code and next time I'm going to show you how to use this with things like LDRs, RTCs and things like that. 